Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely Saturday morning. So today I'd like to cover something from the European Commission that I missed. This came out around August 31st of this year and it just kind of flew over my head because sometimes things go over my head, which is why I really appreciate when people in the chat that I'll link down below will link in the Letters to Lewis channel things that I have missed. So I'm going to leave a link to that down below if anybody wants to join that particular chat to be able to refer stuff like this to me when I miss it. So this is from the European Commission and it says eco design requirements for mobile phones, cordless phones, tablets pursuant to directive something of the European Parliament and Council. One of the things I've talked about on this channel for a really long period of time is right to repair. The fact that you should be able to fix the products that you own, you should be able to have access to what is necessary to do so, and that manufacturers should not try to stop you from fixing what you own. This really just goes under the larger umbrella of ownership, which is something that has been taken away one subscription service at a time. It's something we go over in many videos in this channel that just across the tech landscape, we are given less freedom with what we buy, what we own, and more importantly nowadays, what we subscribe to. And this is a big part of that. Many of the repair videos I've done on this channel, if not all of them, feature something called schematics. These are diagrams that show how everything is put together, and without it, it becomes fairly difficult, if not close to impossible, to do many repairs in an economically viable fashion. If you want to fix something, and you need to spend 800 hours reverse engineering it in order to fix something that costs $500, it likely is not going to be economically viable for you, or even a professional repair person, to do that repair anymore. They're just going to throw it away and get a new one because it does not make sense to put 800 hours into reverse engineering something that costs 500 bucks if you're going to see that for repair two or three times. For many of these manuals that we're talking about, they actually used to come with the device. If you open radios and other electronics in the 60s, 70s, and even 80s, you would have a full schematic diagram that just came with it. It's just naturally a part of ownership back when the culture made more sense. Now that we are living in this dystopian world where you're not actually supposed to own the things that you purchase, we no longer have access to this. And you need to resort to less than legitimate means in order to get access to all these documents so that you can do the types of repairs that I do on this channel. So this is an initiative from the EU, which is designing mobile phones and tablets to be sustainable. And they were taking feedback for this for a period of time. And there was another group of feedback over here. And what I found really interesting is that when you just search for the word diagram, and it talks about what be, is going to be made available or what they're asking to be made available, it says access to repair and maintenance information. From 12 months after the entry into the force of this regulation, manufacturers, importers, or authorized representatives shall, from one month after the date of placement of the market until seven years after the date of end of placement on the market, provide access to the repair and maintenance information to professional repairers for parts covered by point 1A and B in the following conditions and blah, blah, blah. What I find interesting is that they're including a wiring and connection diagram as required for failure analysis, electronic board diagrams to the level of detail needed to replace parts covered by point 1A, which I think is particularly interesting. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying that I want everything that's in here, like an exact guide on how to take the device apart, I'll figure out how to take the device apart. But something that says, oh, this has this chip on it, this has this value capacitor and resistor and so on and so forth, basic stuff like that, that again, used to be normal. This used to come with desktop computers in the 70s and 80s, and used to come with almost all your electronics in the 60s, 70s, and even into the 80s. It's something that many people forget about, because many people of my age we're not around to even understand this. But it's something that the older generation, that the people that are in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and even 90s, remember being part of the culture that they're kind of trying to bring back here. Now, I don't have any faith in this actually making its way through. Admittedly, I'm starting to become fairly blackpilled on any of the stuff making its way through legally versus culturally. But it is interesting to see that the EU is actually putting legitimate and honest effort into something like this. And I really do enjoy the fact that this is actually making its way into the discussion. This actually has some teeth to it because it is actually asking for things that will allow us to do repairs. When you see Apple come out with their independent repair provider program or the self-service repair program, and many people have asked what I thought, there are some things that you get in there that are cool, but for the most part, 99.9% .9 of what I do at my repair shop, I would not be able to do with access to any of the stuff from those programs because it's missing the stuff necessary for actual repair. This is actually asking for all of that stuff to be made available. And even if they do wind up uh, compromising on certain elements, as long as it says electronic board diagrams to the d level of detail necessary to replace parts covered by point 1A, wiring and connection diagrams as required for failure analysis, 
That works. And it's also specific enough to not ask for everything. I'm not asking for Gerber files. I'm not asking for everything that's necessary to be able to create the board from scratch. The bare minimum necessary to be able to do failure analysis, figure out what went wrong with the board, and fix it for a customer, which is pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is actually going to get anywhere? Do you think that this is going to just kind of get lost in the hellscape of modern politics? Um, you know, very curious your thoughts. And I will include links down below to this on the European Commission website. Again, like there are other matters that the EU has to concern itself with now, like energy, war, everything else. So I sincerely doubt that making schematics available for mobile phones is at the top of the list. But I just figured since this just so happened to make its way in, that it'll be worth a mention on this channel. And again, I will leave a link down below to a chat so that if I do miss these things in the future, you can ping me there and we can discuss it in the open. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.